gentlemen. Welcome to FTV Live News at 9 a.m. I am your host, Chai Dumbarak. And co-host, Christine Chalo. And these are the highlights. Mitigating around Omicron variant. CBC and CBC Cultural Day in Fairfield Academy. Politics as it is today. KCP in March and in November. Drug and substance abuse. Keeping safe and obeying our parents over the festive season. Going straight to the news. Mitigating around Omicron variant. It now goes without saying that another variant is here with us. For the past month, scientists have been on tours to find ways and means to on mitigating the Omicron variant. Initial cases were first reported on 24th November 2021 to World Health Organization after being detected in Botswana and South Africa. It has been classified as a variant of concern by the United States of America. Some of the signs and symptoms are just the same as the COVID-19. Its common symptoms include headache, running nose, scratchy throat, dry cough, body ache, and night sweat, including no appetite. How can we prevent this new variant? By wearing double-layered masks, avoiding overcrowded places, and keeping social distancing, for those who have attained a certain age of being vaccinated, they can go for the vaccination and even go for the booster doses. Please note, first, share this information with family, friends, and even with the community. Second, this wave is more deadly than the first. Be very careful and take extra precaution because Omicron is five times more transmissible than the previous variant. CBC and CBC Cultural Day. Teachers implementing the competence-based curriculum are actively involved in supporting the new system of learning, which has been confirmed to be effective and fundamental to learners in many schools across the country. Mika for more news. In Fairfield Academy, the new curriculum was marked evident in pupils and teachers preparing their projects work in accordance to the NEC assessment. However, learning was real as many pupils responded concurrently to make their day. This was witnessed on Friday 17, 2021, as many children showcased their finished products of cooked foods, cultural ornaments, traditional dances, uh, and language. <laughs> The parents showed up in large numbers to the occasion to support their children. According to the stewardship of the event, some parents got an opportunity to test some food. However, it was not at that moment as children could give a testimony of what they cooked. Happiness was indeed written on their faces. We managed to interview some of the participants of the event. Please tell us your name. My name is Adnan Ramadan. Were you there during the cultural day? Yes, I was. What was the most interesting activity during the cultural day? The traditional dances. What kind of food did you prepare? I prepared Mokimo from the Kikuyu community and Ndokoy uh, from the Kamba community. Why do you think that your day is very important? It's because it brings people together. Thank you, Adnan. Please tell us your name. My name is Cindy Query. Were you there during the cultural day? Yes, I was. What was the most interesting activity during the cultural day? I enjoyed the skits. What kind of food did you prepare? I prepared food called Kimanga from Taita community and Bila from Swahili community. Why do you think that your day is very important? It helps us to keep the environment clean. Thank you. What kind of food do you prepare? I prepared Ndokoi for the Kamba community. Thank you, Adrian. We really appreciate teachers parents and the administration for making that cultural day a success. For those who missed, 
watch on our live Facebook account, Fairfield Mombasa. My name is Tabitha Kajambo. Back to you, Chalo, in studio. We are going for a short commercial break. Do not go away. We'll be back with more news. Welcome back. Let's look at politics as it is today. We have one of our reporters on ground with more news. Ryan, please. Indeed, 2022 is the election year, but it is safe. A day in politics is very long, let alone months or even a year. We predict a stiff political competition of a blend only Kenyans are used to. There will be dramatic shifts with politicians moving from one party to another. We also predict the collision of the same mold that have always shaped elections in Kenya. Based on various factors, we hope for a very peaceful transition from the fourth to the fifth president. I would like to urge all learners to be very careful during this campaign period to avoid being caught up with the chaos that comes with politics. To all Kenyans at large, let's portray love in the spirit of patriotism and be wise enough not to be swayed by the politician promises. Let's avoid engaging in anything that will lead to bloodshed. Back to you, Christine Chalo, in studio. KCP in March and in November. Let's hear from Chanel. The year 2022 will be a busy one for the academic calendar. Given that there will be two sets of candidates sitting for their national exam on March and November 2022. There will be two, a two-in-one affair in the Mtihani house. Meaning with only 75 days, learners are busy preparing for the KCPE as to be set and ready to go. The exam is set to start on the 7th March to the 10th March. Let us hear a view from one of the candidates. What is your name and how are you preparing yourself for the exam? Well, my name is Duncan Achin and I'm well prepared by doing several past papers and also deciding and teaching a lot on the questions that I don't understand. And how do you feel about the exam? I'm much excited about it since I've never been to that level and I assure you that when I get there, I will have to do my best. Thank you, Duncan. This also brings a challenge to the class sevens who are going to sit for their national exams on November 2022. The big question, however, remains, how ready are they? I am your reporter, Chanel Wanjiku, in Fairfield Academy. Back to you, Chalo, in studio. For a short commercial break, we'll, we'll be with you after a while. drug and substance abuse. In other news, the abuse and misuse of drugs has steadily risen. According to the statistics from National Authority for the Campaign Against Alcohol and Drug Abuse, youths between the age of 14 to 26 are the most affected. Alcohol, Mira, Tobacco and Bang are leading the charts. According to the survey, these drugs are abused in broad daylight. Peer pressure from headsets has proven to be the leading cause. The abuse and misuse of these drugs has also resulted to increase in 
truancy, school dropouts, poor performance, and mental disorders among young teens. Professor Mabel Opanda, the board chairperson of NACADA, has concluded that for a better society, we, the youth, should wisely spend our leisure time to the best of our benefits. Some of these activities include hobbies such as swimming, ball games, and occupational games and sports. We are also encouraged to engage in team building and peer activities to curb the peer pressure influence. Remember, a healthy mind is a healthy body. Stay safe. Showing our parents over the festive season. Surely, this is important. Let's look at one of our reporters, what he has to say on this matter. As we are all aware, we are coming to an end of the second term of the school calendar where we are going to have a very short holiday with our parents. We should obey our parents and take care of ourselves since there have been some cases of children being kidnapped during this festive season. We should do everything instructed by our parents since this will make them happy. We should keep safe and secure by asking for permission before going out, avoid bad company, do not misbehave at home, do not walk alone. Remember, we need you back in 2022, safe and sound. It is better being safe than being sorry, and your safety is our concern. Otherwise, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is John Kamau, reporting from Fairfield Academy, Makupa, back to Chalo in Sulu. That's, That's all we had for you today. Make, Make sure to catch us live, same time, same place. You can watch our Facebook page at Fairfield Mombasa. We wish, wish you a Merry Christmas, Christmas and a prosperous 2022. 2022. Bye. Bye.